If you're looking for a dependable, high-performance winter glove with a unique feature, then the Rucker R-Star gloves might just be for you. But there's a catch. Hi, Tony here, welcome to the channel, I hope you're well. Uh, I thought I'd bring you another one of the short informal review videos of a product that I've been using since early 2023, so almost a year of use. I've always struggled a little bit with winter gloves because to get the warmth that you need, you generally have to have quite a lot of insulation and that can make the gloves quite bulky and thick and you lose the feel on the handlebars. It's a bit like riding in oven gloves. These Rucker R-Star gloves have got a trick up their sleeve, but let's get the specifications out of the way to start with. They are a full leather glove with a Gore-Tex membrane making them waterproof and windproof, yet breathable. There's a carbon knuckle protector, which is underneath this leather cover. You've got a scaphoid protection on the side here with super fabric. So you've got little ceramic beads that add extra abrasion resistance and that runs up the side of the finger as well. And you've got some protection on the palm too. A Velcro strap at the wrist ensures a snug fit and a zipped gusset on the top of the wrist allows for the cuff to be opened up should you want to go over the top of the sleeve of your jacket. They are fleece lined with lightweight but warm insulation and we'll go into that in a minute. Now the trick these gloves have and why I like them is they are a double chamber glove. So when you pull the glove on you've got two choices. There's a lower chamber that you can slide into and that means that you've got less insulation on the palm, more insulation on the back of the hand or you've got an upper chamber that you can slide into and that means you've got kind of equal amounts of insulation on the palm as you have on the back. Simple, I like it. The lower chamber gives you more grip, the upper chamber gives you more warmth overall. Effectively, you've got this kind of middle layer of insulation that you can either choose to have on the top or on the bottom of your hand. Now, I like to have as much feel on the bars as I can get which generally means that I'm wearing uh, a much lighter glove than I really should be for the conditions. With the R-Star, wearing them in the lower chamber means you have excellent feel on the controls and of course the extra bit of warmth on the back of the hand. And this, I'll be honest, is probably how I've worn these gloves for 90% of the time. So why have that extra chamber? Well, there have been occasions where I've ridden bikes without heated grips, and after a while, I've appreciated that extra feel, but my hands are starting to get colder than they need to, and that's just a case then of switching to the upper chamber, he says, and then I've got that extra insulation on the palm and still a decent amount of insulation on the back of the hand, and the glove is still not too bulky. I do lose out on some feel, but it's not so much that these become a problem. I prefer them in the, in, the, in the lower chamber with more grip, but I can happily ride with them in the upper chamber where I've got that overall more warmth if I haven't got heated grips. Now, the first thing you'll notice about these gloves when you take them out of the packet is that how soft and supple this leather is. They are beautiful gloves, and I have to say, and I'll be honest, they are probably one of the most comfortable winter gloves that I've tried. In use they've performed faultlessly, they've kept my hands bone dry and completely warm right down to zero degrees centigrade and the more you wear them the better they get. As I've said before I really like this dual chamber, I think it gives you a real flexibility in these gloves and they are kind of really a one-stop shop for winter riding. Now at the beginning I did say there was a catch and that's why I'm sitting down and I think you probably should do too. Now, they're a Rucker glove, so I expect that you're not assuming they would be cheap, and you are correct. If you want to buy yourself a set of these R-Star gloves, they will set you back 280 pounds. That's a hell of a lot of money. However, these are gloves that do exactly what they promised. They have kept me warm and bone dry. They perform very well in all weathers, and looking at them, they look like they're going to be a glove that will last you for years and years. These almost look like uh, they did when I took them out of the packet. And I've probably done 
I don't know, three thousand, two and a half, three thousand miles in in winter conditions in these. I'll be honest and say these are the gloves that I reached for when I wanted something that I knew would be able to cope with the conditions out there of a UK winter, whether that be rain or cold or a combination of both. I just knew that pulling these on, my hands were gonna be comfortable and I wasn't gonna have any problems. And that may mean that that 280 pound price tag is worth it for you. At this price too, you're well in the top end range of heated gloves from the likes of Kais, Gerbing and Revit. And they may be a better option for you. Uh, for me personally, I quite like a simple glove that I can just pull on and go and not have to worry about batteries and, and cables and stuff. I do and have had and used heated gloves and I think they're brilliant, but sometimes you just want that simplicity of putting a glove on and, and getting going. If you're gonna be on the bike for hours and hours, then the heated gloves are a good option. But other than that, for ease of use, you obviously can't be a straightforward, simple glove. So there you have it, a very good, well-constructed, comfortable, warm, weatherproof winter glove. I can heartily recommend them, only you can decide whether you can actually stomach that price tag. I hope you found the video useful. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna have a few of these short, sharp reviews coming through uh, over time as well. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll get the notifications as, as soon as they come through. I really do appreciate those subscriptions. They make a big difference to me, particularly when I'm talking to brands and manufacturers and trying to get hold of kit to review for you. The more subscribers I've got, the more views I've got, the easier that becomes. So it doesn't cost you anything. If you like the channel, hit that subscribe button. It really, really does help. So all that leaves me to say is until next time, thanks for watching. Take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.